I love a good campfire. I know, it's like the most soothing thing in the world to just sit and watch a campfire. I know, it's fall now, so we can sit and have more of these. I know. Yep. We should do this every night. That's a good idea. Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. You didn't hear that? No. We may have to go in in a minute. I don't know. I thought we'd sit out here and tell ghost stories. Do you know any ghost, good ghost stories? I know I heard some really good ones the other night. When? When we were on that ghost tour. Oh, the ghost walk of Gatlinburg. Yeah, they the told some kind of tragic tales. Yes, some of those tales were actually not as family friendly as some, some of the... Some were a little violent, so yeah. Stuff. You may want to be careful if you take little kids on that or something. Yeah, but, that's true. But it was lots of fun. It was a lot of history of Gatlinburg. I yeah. highly recommend it. What did you like? I don't know. Let me just show you. Well, we decided that it was time to go check out a ghost tour. Actually, we were invited. I don't know if you guys know Scott and Tracy back there. I know Scott's a moderator on the channel, so you see him in the live streams all the time. I know you guys know Will and Don from Yankee in the South, and what about Don? Hopefully you know Mindy. <laughs> We're gonna go have some fun. We don't usually do this kind of stuff, but we heard that they sell t-shirts at the end. And you know if there's t-shirts at the end, I'm gonna go follow that trail. Let's see what happens. The parking lot for the Log Cabin Pancake House is where this tour actually starts. But anyways, we are a family-friendly tour as well. So if you get kind of freaked out tonight, please watch your language. A reminder, lock your cars when we leave. We do have bears, and they do show up on the tour. Rem looks like a spaceship. It does look like a spaceship. They can come and touch REM pod. it. Yes. Yes, this is a REM pod. <laughs> Hopefully it gets a little louder up here. There's supposed to be any activity. No activity. So, who can tell me what the theme song of UT, University of Tennessee is? Rocky Top. Absolutely. Called the Rocky Top, Village and Inn. So, it was actually built right here where we're standing. The night auditor, they had a night auditor, tax keeper, they had a receptionist in the front of the hotel was down there. A productive citizen of society, they decided they were gonna rob a hotel. Which hotel do you think they robbed? The Rocky Top. She comes over here to the night auditor's office. What she walks in is one of the most gruesome scenes Gatlinburg has ever seen. What does it mean again? It's supposed to be energy spirit. Mm -hmm. Is that a sign of things to come? That being said, I wanted to give you a little bit more training before we go into our next investigation. We really talked about orbs. Has anybody ever seen an orb? Yeah. You see, they come in different shapes, colors, and sizes. This one looks like an alien to me. See it? parking lot and the couple gets out and they are extremely gifted sensitive people extremely and then the guy gets out and he says sir I see someone and my boss is like okay well who do you see he's like I see an older woman with white hair all right and the lady who lived there well she was the crazy cat lady they called her that because she had over 35 cats he starts sweating profusely because the obelisk is reading get ready the end is coming I found the crazy cat lady. Yeah. 
<laughs> right here in front of us. Oh, yeah. The crazy cat lady. Everybody else see it? How many cats do you have? Five. Oh, wow. I thought you had more than that. He won't let me have one. She would have 35 or something. <laughs> now, what he did on this acre of land is he built four chapels. You only see three. And then there was an office in the back. Now, in between these two chapels was the fourth chapel. And then the office was behind the chapel. Now, he became very successful in what he did. He married over 44,000 people. He was actually in the Guinness Book of World right now. This was his heart. This was his ministry where he was over here. The fires, they, they ran everywhere. It was like 86 mile per hour winds. I was actually in Gatlinburg that night when it happened. I lived here because the, the winds, they would come in, they would gust, they would pick up the embers and then they would just scatter the fire everywhere, okay? Only the chapel in between these two and the office behind burned down on this whole street. <laughs> I don't see anything. No. I think we're okay, Mindy. Okay. Well, he had actually gone on like a celebration of the fact that he was going to be married. And him and his buddies, they went out hunting and stuff. They were supposed to meet back up that night over a campfire and, you know, celebrate their kills. Well, unfortunately, Lydia's fiance, he didn't show up. Out their guys to search and rescue Lydia's fiance. They finally found him three days later dead. What they say was from a mountain lion. The sky lift mm -hmm. had burned down. And that's where the Alamo Steakhouse was. It burned down as well. The church wasn't touched. So. All right, so who here is afraid of heights? First thing tomorrow, you need to go to the top of the Space Needle. It's 407 feet. It's been here since 1945. So, their job was to walk up and down the stairs every single day. And then they were not allowed to ride inside of the elevator. Go, man, I'm tired of this. I'm going to go down in the elevator and take me a break. Now, the other kid says, oh no, you better not do that. I meant I was going to ride on the elevator. So he took that college education of his and he stepped off of them stairs onto the top of the elevator and he overcorrected. His leg got caught in the cables. This fire still feels pretty amazing, but I am freaked out, Chris. This is getting scary out here. I heard something just now. Did you not hear that? I don't know. I kind of heard something, but I it might have been the wind or something. I don't know. You don't even care that I'm scared. You're just worried about your precious t-shirts. Fire embers can be deadly to t-shirts. I don't know. This is getting really creepy out here. I think it's just because the fire's going down a little bit. These stories are not helping. They are very scary. I can't believe how scary these stories are. Maybe it'll help if we tell some more stories and get our mind off whatever that noise was. What, cemetery? It's right over that hill. Yeah. That's where it is. I can't give y'all permission to go into that cemetery. Follow the signs for the restroom in the village. You'll see the walkway, which is the actual entrance to White Oak Flat Cemetery. Now, that crazy thing about how we used to go into the cemetery, we did up until about three years ago. Well, there's one main story of the reason why we're not allowed to go in there anymore. You see, we used to take all of our loving couples that were here in Gatlinburg, and we would go take a picture of them in front of the White Oak Flat Cemetery sign. But unfortunately, sometimes they had a third member in their picture, and her name was Lydia. Now, Lydia would show up in her white wedding dress in the middle of the couple, and what that would do was tell you that your man was unfaithful. Our women loved that. They were ready, ready to fact check their husbands. The husbands, not so much. 
That room down there is the choir room. Right? It has been for multiple years. Okay, basically, I asked him one day, I said, we get a lot of pictures of apparitions coming out of that choir room. And I asked him, I said, what's the history on it? He's like, don't worry. He says, the only ghost we have is the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. What is that? That's one of the crazy builders they and I think these ghosts get really comfortable and they want to be a part of flower practice. That's what I think. Please try to take your yeah, ghost. Ghost. Yeah. 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 Alright. But with that being said, remember the Cherokee said that this area was controlled by witchcraft. Well, I can actually attest to the fact that there are a lot of witches in this area. Well, I went there and I went to the graveyard after the tour. And I asked him, I said, you seen anything crazy happen in that room? Or, or happen in the hotel? She's like, all the time. Like, she said, it's ridiculous. I walked into a room one night to check it. And uh, the curtains were just swinging violently. All right, there's no AC unit underneath their curtains. It's a newer hotel, like newer remodel hotel. That's the room that we're circled in on right now. So, 2014, we had a newlywed couple. Um, they had celebrated their vows. They were actually married by our good friend, Reverend Dan. And he is not asleep. He's sitting in a chair in front of the door, waiting on her to walk in. So, she walks in. The only the man only said one thing. He said, um, I got you a wedding present. Takes the gun. They remodeled the whole inside, but they kept the whole structure and the layout. Now, we've taken pictures from 2014 up until now. You can still see a man clear as day on the rail, like hanging out, like with his head down. You, they still have a ton of activity in that room. In fact, they won't even rent that room out unless they absolutely have to because there's still so much activity in that room. The people that own this hotel before them, they couldn't take it anymore. There are paranormal investigation teams always blowing up. So, y'all take a good picture. This church right here, they were in the process of renovation, and then all of a sudden, they were given the windows from that church and the chairs. We have a lot of faces that come through these windows. They all left us. Look at that. Look at that, he's giving us a pancake and some syrup. Man, that's my kind of syrup on there. Chris, you just did ghosts and all you think about is pancakes? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. Now the part I've been waiting on. Let's see where this t shirt is. You guys can see Oh yeah, if anybody wants to watch this, Yankee South and Chris are about t-shirts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Don, for being our model. Sure. <laughs> Those really were some scary stories we heard on that ghost walk. They really are. I mean, they were good though. Yeah, they did a really good job of building up the anticipation and everything. Yeah. I mean, we're still scared. I know, so. even a couple of days later. <laughs> yeah, and the crazy thing is there's like history fact. I know, that's the best part of it for me actually was the yeah. historical facts that you learned. Cause it's, well, we all love the Smoky Mountains, so. I know, who doesn't love the Smokies? So just learning more about it makes you feel like it's more part of you, more at home there. So, yeah. But it really is a good value, you know. It is family friendly, she told us. It is family friendly. It's there's nothing wrong with taking kids there. It's just, you know, you might want to be careful. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Some of the stories are a little, but but it really was a fun night. I would definitely do it again, and it's not really badly priced. No, I think it was less than 20 bucks for us to go. Just make sure that you keep that brochure that he gave you because there's a discount on the bottom, and we might want to either go back or pass it off to a friend. That's a good idea.
I know I heard that. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Oh yeah. See you next t-shirt. Here's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the front of this beautiful t-shirt. And here's what the back looks like. Isn't this beautiful t-shirt worth facing any ghost story? What do you guys think? And by the way, here's the brochure. If you find one of these around town, they should be about everywhere in most hotels. You can get $2 off adult admission. And here's the phone number and website if you wanted to check them out.